Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. In this video, I would like to talk to you about smart home backups. Let's talk about redundancy, as I find it increasingly important the more one engages with smart home technology. More on that after the intro. Enjoy. First, I would like to start with a little horror story because I was away on a business trip for a few days and what you hope will never happen while you are away actually happened. In fact, my entire smart home was broken into even though I had purchased a Raspberry Pi 4, which is not the cheapest option. Using an SSD as a boot system to create more security apparently wasn't enough and everything still crashed on my end. After a brief annoyance and many phone calls, I also thought about how to make Home Assistant more redundant in the meantime to get everything running again. In the meantime, there are actually one or two projects that are trying to implement this. But it's not that simple, because we are talking about a solution that integrates many individual manufacturers into a smart home system. This means that one must not only focus on the Home Assistant installation itself, but also on the components that are used additionally. In my case, this would specifically be Zigbee, as I use Zigbee as the protocol to control all the lights. This means that if I wanted to set everything up redundantly, that is securely, I would also need to set up all my Zigbee devices redundantly. And here we come to the first problem, which for me is currently a huge issue, because Zigbee, as far as I know, does not support two gateways in a single system. This means that running everything redundantly would already fail at this point, and would therefore be unnecessary. Because if I can't have two Zigbee bridges, I also can't have two Home Assistant installations, since my Zigbee dongle is directly accessed through Home Assistant, specifically with decons. One could certainly solve the whole issue by acquiring an external solution. There are projects like Zigbee for this purpose. This means that there would be an additional translator that converts the Zigbee protocol into the MQTT protocol and then the Home Assistant installation would essentially just act as the central controller. You could then put it into a backup mode, which of course would be useless if the Zigbee to MQTT bridge were to crash. The same problem would occur with an IKEA bridge, a Philips Hue bridge, and so on. Therefore, for me, it is still not the perfect solution. And spoiler alert, I can't offer you the completely perfect solution at this point either, because in my opinion, it simply doesn't exist. Correct me in the comments if you know a better solution. My current solution is that I have currently prepared a second SD card, which is also set up with a fresh Home Assistant installation. The only thing installed on it is the VPN that I previously introduced in a past video, which is Tailwind. This way, I can quickly connect to the new Home Assistant instance if the old one crashes. The only thing I need to do is swap out the SD card. And since I have a daily backup, for which I have also made a video, I can quickly set up Home Assistant again with this daily backup. And that is basically my only solution regarding this topic. Of course, as I mentioned, there is a redundant solution for Home Assistant that I have looked into, but it is extremely complicated to set up, at least without significant prior experience in virtualization, and it's not exactly ideal since you also need to back up each individual component. That means you would also need to have two Zigbee bridges and so on and so forth. So those were my experiences. I hope I was able to give you a little wake-up call with this. If you still need an SD card, I will link mine below in the video description. It works quite well with that. You can find the links below in the description. If this video helped you, feel free to show it to me with a rating. Otherwise, we'll see each other again next week on Wednesday at the same time. Until then, take care and goodbye.